Today, we're going to see how Pavel Datsuk would do in today's NHL. We're simming at 10 seasons total. I gave him the max contract I could give him on Detroit, which is eight years. It's up to him to do what he wants after those eight years are up. Year number one, Detroit would miss the playoffs with a 37, 39 and six record, earning 80 points, finishing 25th in the entire league. Datsuk would lead Detroit in points with 70, while also leading them in goals with 32, while Nathan McKinnon would lead the entire league in points with 108 and Alex Ovechkin would lead the league in goals with 57. And the Vegas Golden Knights would capture their first Stanley Cup in franchise history, being the Tampa Bay Lightning in four games. The Hedman who led the league in playoff points with 26, while it would be Nikita Kucherov leading the league in playoff goals with 13. McKinnon was regular season MVP. Roman Yossi wins the James Norris. John Cena would win Rookie of the Year. Jack Eichel would win Playoff MVP. And Anderson would take home the Vesna. I just remember that means Datsuk did not even win Rookie of the Year because he was eligible for the award. Datsuk will be starting the next year at a 93 overall. Disappointment once again as Detroit misses the playoffs with a 40, a 37, and 5 record, earning 85 points for 22nd in the entire league. 72 points for Datsuk with 32 goals. Brizov would lead the league in points with 115, while it would be Austin Matthews and Alex Ovechkin tying for most goals in the league with 60. The big three in Pittsburgh gets a happy ending as they beat Colorado in five games to lift the Stanley Cup. Malkin and Crosby both tied to lead the league in playoff points with 25, while Nathan McKinnon led in playoff goals with 15. Forgot to show, but in this timeline, we get the worst outcome as Connor Bedard is a Chicago Blackhawk member. Kale McCarr would actually end up winning regular season MVP. I don't recall ever seeing a defenseman win this in a simulation yet, at least from my experience. With that being said, he obviously comes out on top with the James Norris trophy as well. Adard would win the Calder in Chicago. Crosby captures one more Conn Smythe trophy. And Markstrom is the Vesna trophy winner. Year number three, Datsuk remains a 93 overall. And for the first time, Detroit is in the playoffs because in year number three, they finish with a 46, 30, and six record, earning 98 points for fifth in the entire league. Datsuk would lead the team in points with 97 while also leading it in goals with 49, his best season by far so far. And he may be 39 years old, but Ovechkin is not slowing down, led the league in points with 119 and led it in goals with 63. Datsuk and Matthews were the closest at 49. And Matthews is on the San Jose Sharks, I guess. Detroit gets the honors of playing the Carolina Hurricanes in round number one. They would beat in five games. They move on to the second round to face Boston. Sadly, Boston was too much for us as we lose in six games. The Dallas Stars would move on to win the Stanley Cup beating Boston in five games. Datsuk in the playoffs was not bad. Nine points and four goals. Jason Robertson would lead the league in playoff points with 26 and also a lead in playoff goals with 13. I have no idea who the heck this guy is and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name but he was second in the entire league in scoring probably because of the help from Austin Matthews. After a great year, Ovi is a regular season MVP. A car collecting back-to-back -back James Norris trophies. Robertson, no-brainer, playoff MVP. And Georgiev was your Vesna trophy winner. Year number four, Detroit would capture the final playoff spot in the league. They had a 43, 32, and seven record, earning 93 points for 17th in the league. Atsuk is back on top with 92 points. He had 44 goals as well, which also led the team. Colorado dominated. McKinnon had the most points in the league with 114, while Ranton had the most goals in the league with 55. I also forgot to mention the fact that Datsuk is now at 95 overall. And we have Patrice Bergeron at 40 years old, looking to grab one more Stanley Cup, as well as us acquiring Neil Pionk and completely changing up our goaltenders as we have Samsonov and Logan Thompson. And for the first time today, on the brink of elimination, we have some overtime. Detroit is one game away from being out, and this is only game number five, so they have some work to do. Chris Letang finds Dumoulin, who, oh, he's blocked by his own team and goes out of play. A late penalty Pittsburgh, so Detroit going on the power play with a chance to extend the series. It was Anthony Mantha, that's what you get for no longer being on Detroit, even though we're way past that at this point. Here he is, Manjapani shorthanded, it only takes one shot, and they're no longer shorthanded because that's a pen for elbowing. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know elbowing was in the game. I've never seen it called before. Arkin finds Natsaku Koivu. Can't bury. It's right there for him. Natsaku Koivu, he chokes. Datsuk, the man we're here for. Going through the legs in Datsuk faction. It doesn't work out, though. Pionk can't bury either. It smells like double OT, and I don't know how to feel about that. Come on, Datsuk. Nice pass. I love it. Raymond. Holds, finds, cop, gets the rebound and scores, and we're going to game six. I mean, statistically speaking, I don't think we should have won that game, but we didn't. That's what matters. Their game six, two to nothing Detroit. Stays that way, third period, th and we win, no problem. 
We're going to game seven. Game seven, this is huge. To make that overtime actually matter. Period number one, four to nothing Detroit. This win is in the bag. Seven to one at the end of the second. Not even gonna slow Sim at 10 to two game seven victory. And we're moving on to the second round. 12 seconds later. All that drama in round one to get swept in round two we would lose to the stanley cup champions as washington would be calgary in four games completing the sweep washington literally lost two games their entire run datsuk leading the way on our team in points and goals in the playoffs he had 16 points and seven goals mckinnon for the second time today is your regular season mvp el mccarr with the three-peat of the norris hey our koivu guy won rookie of the year let's go because netsov was playoff mvp while jari who we ended up defeating in the first round of the playoffs was your Vesna Trophy winner. Heartbreaking fashion, we missed the playoffs. Even though we tied with the Rangers and the Devils, we actually lost both tiebreakers. So we're not in the playoffs. A 40, 34, and 8 record. 88 points earned for 19th in the entire league. Probably sucked more being Anaheim, who had 93 points, finished 13th in the league, and didn't make the playoffs. The most points for Datsuk yet today. 98 points to lead the team. He also led the team in goals with 38. McKinnon continues to dominate. I swear he's good in every sim. 117 points to lead the league and 57 goals to also lead the league and the colorado avalanche are stand up champions after beating the pittsburgh penguins in seven games mckinnon gets back-to-back -back regular season mvps i don't think there's any other defenseman in the league because mccarr wins his fourth norris in a row which is crazy and playoff mvp obviously is mr mckinnon while wallstead would win the vesna also forgot to show mckinnon at 24 points in the playoffs to lead the league while it was Granlin on Pittsburgh who led in goals with 11. Year number six, Datsuk remains a 95 overall. And with a 45, 30, and 7 record, earning 97 points, Detroit would finish 7th in the entire league, making the playoffs. For the first time, Datsuk would claim 100 points, and he'd get it on the dot, also scoring 43 goals, leading the team in both categories. McDavid finally king of the league, 114 points to lead the way, while also leading the league in goals with 53. And the Buffalo Sabres are your Stanley Cup champions after beating the Vegas Golden Knights in four games. Ah, we didn't do too hot we lost to toronto in five games but they do have chicken so i'll give them that rantanen would lead the entire playoffs in points only playing 18 games he had 27 points he also led the playoffs in goals with 18 he had one goal per game in the playoffs their season mvp is connor mcdavid obviously someone had to dethrone mccarr for the norris eventually but i did not have seth jones as my choice i don't know about you guys Paige thompson was your regular season mvp while swayman won a vesna your number seven detroit would finish with a 44 31 7 record earning 95 points finishing ninth in the entire league and Datsuk absolutely popped off 114 points leading the team obviously and he also led the team in goals with 46. not only did he lead detroit in points but he led the entire league in points as well for the first time wasn't Datsuk led in goals that was ranting in with 51 and game seven of round number one is going to overtime we are against ottawa Wallander, big bomb by Casper, but what a save. Number one and oh in the overtimes today. Casper makes it 2-0, baby. We're going on to the second round. Well, this looks familiar. Game seven uh, once again. Period number one, three to nothing Detroit. I kind of like that. Uh, period number two, four to nothing. I'm not even going to eight times speed. It is over a six to two win. We're going to the conference finals for the first time. And we find ourselves on the brink of elimination in game number six. First period, two to nothing. The Sims are going great for us. That second period does make it close though we're up two to one eight times speed so far so good zadina did score to give us a three to one lead they have to get two goals in nine minutes or less and it's not gonna happen i don't think it sure did not we're game seven bound period number one three to one detroit lark and raymond insider scoring power scoring on thompson i haven't seen much datsu goal scoring from these sims honestly and they tie it in the second my heart hurts thompson on thompson will we see another game seven overtime two minutes one minute we sure will samuelson he scores i can't believe it i mean i can but it still hurts we lose in the conference finals. And for back-to-back -back years, the Buffalo Sabres are your Stanley Cup champions after beating Calgary in six games. Not to get 24 points, nine goals in the playoffs. And this fictional character that the script writers made to make us lose had 30 points to lead the entire playoffs. And to make matters worse, Barzell won league MVP instead of Datsu for whatever reason. So we don't even have that to celebrate. The Islanders would also capture the Norris as Dobson would win it. And Dimitri won playoff MVP, but who cares? 
cares? Now I'm me. That's who would get his first couple of awards this year, though. He would win the Lady Bing, as well as obviously getting the Art Ross for leading the league in points. And in year number eight, the final year on Datsuk's contract, he is up to a 96 overall for the first time ever. Detroit would finish third in the entire league with a 49, 25, and 8 record, earning 106 points. Datsuk would drop 50 goals for the first time. He had 50 goals, 49 assists for a total of 99 points. While Leon Dreisaitl would take home the crown for most points in the league with 108, while Pasternak had the most goals in the league with 58. And for the first time today, we are in the Stanley Cup Finals. We face the Seattle Kraken. And Detroit finds themselves one win away from raising the cup. They're up 3-2, which means they have two chances to put away Seattle. Game is tied 1-1 one one after the first. And Detroit takes a 4-2 lead after the second. Michael Bunting is on Seattle. We are eight times speeding the third here. They make it a one goal. They also have Eichel. What the heck is going on? And they tie it. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Bunting and Eichel here to ruin my day. We have six and a half minutes left and we take the lead. I don't know who you are, but thank you. And then Eichel just ties it. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Simon. You know what that means? Overtime. Luckily, we can lose this game and we can still be fine. Will Datsuk be victorious? and lift up that Stanley Cup. Shane Wright is murdered in plain sight and nobody cares. And Datsu capitalized, he finds Raymond. There it is, oh my God. Casper the friendly ghost, the Zadina, Philip Zadina, Philip Zadina, let's go baby. Stanley Cup champions, Halifax Moosehead hero. Y'all love to see it. Question is, does Datsu go back to Detroit? It's his last year. Does he leave on the highest of high notes? Or does he come back for two more years? And here he is. I know it doesn't look anything like him. I apologize, but Datsuk wins the con Smythe. We'll also be lifting the Stanley Cup as well. Here is Datsuk holding the cup. I mean, we've all seen it before anyway, but we haven't seen it in NHL 23. And I mean, with the way that model looks, we're still not seeing it, but it's close enough, right? No. Give that thing a kiss. Good night. And I'll see you for the stats. Datsuk would lead the league in playoff points with 28. He would only score nine goals. Regular season MVP goes to Ajo on Arizona. Addison will capture the James Norris. Sorokin gets back-to-back -back Vesnas. Datsuk would stay with Detroit, but you might notice someone who left, and it was Mr. Game-winning goal himself. Philip Zadina is gone. In his place, we did get Chikrin. Not too good is kind of an understatement as we go from Stanley Cup champions to 30th in the league with a 33, 44, and 5 record, earning 71 points. Datsuk had 89 points to lead the team, while him and Koivu tied in goals with 33. Mark Shifley, 119 points to lead the league, while Halvardsson, everyone's favorite player, led the league in goals with 55. And the Calgary Flames sweep the New York Islanders to lift the Stanley Cup. Mark Shifley wins regular season MVP. Darlene wins the James Norris. Lindholm gets playoff MVP honors, while Brodeen wins the Vesna. 10th and final season we did not even make the playoffs once again and the ottawa senators are your stanley cup champions after beating winnipeg in six games this team definitely should have never gotten rid of zadina apparently he was the glue keeping them together because they go from stanley cup champions to absolute dog water duck two won't even be ending on high notes he had 32 goals and 76 points wasn't even first on the team in points but was for goals for the final awards kultanen wins regular season mvp dalian gets back to back Norris's Timmy Stu gets playoff MVP and Guzda gets the Vesna. So in 820 regular season games played, Datsu could score 399 goals, rack up 508 assists for a total of 907 points. Datsu could finish with zero MVPs, but he would capture one Stanley Cup ring. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.